my name is Sharita. Welcome to my channel. Alright, so today we're going to be having a conversation. This is a conversation that literally does not need to be had, but we have these types of discourses literally all the time on the internet, and frankly, I'm sick of them, but whenever they come up, I'm like, uh, of course, I have to give my two cents, because whatever. So anyway... Let's talk about this discourse, if you haven't heard about how this one lady had posted on Facebook something along the lines of, um, of, I told somebody I was getting my son a kitchen set for Christmas and they told me not to do it because that was gay. <laughs> when I tell you I was sick and tired of these gender roles and these rules like there are so many rules for men like you guys know the list where people will be like yeah I don't want my man to order a margarita cuz that's fruity like now a man can't drink alcohol like he gotta drink something that is gonna put hair on his chest in order to enjoy a, a beverage like I'm just tired of these quote unquote gender roles that people are putting on especially young boys and girls like it's it is so exhausting like first of all cooking is not gender specific I mean I want to know what people think of like these celebrities like Gordon Ramsay or you know who are like these um, well-known celebrities um, who are professional chefs do they think they're gay like why why does cooking have to be a gender role that is literally a life skill that's a life skill knowing how to cook knowing how to clean those are life skills like this is not I'm sorry but we're not in the 50s anymore you know like we don't need partners and we don't need people to do things for us like I'm just I'm not I'm not understanding so then I saw this one this one girl on Facebook and she really should have just kept her mouth shut because y'all know how the internets are so she posted something along the lines of and then this is where it got even more ignorant she posted something along the lines of yeah if y'all try to um give my son a cooking set you know or if you're if your kid has a cooking set and is a boy keep that away from me boys are supposed to grill and girls are supposed to cook or something like that first of all who's gonna tell her who's gonna tell her I thought cooking was cooking but I mean what do I know um but somebody said well see <laughs> and it's not funny because listen I'm not laughing at kids but she should have just sat there and ate her food. But somebody was like, since we talking about gender roles, how come your daughter <laughs> ain't got no hair but your son do? <laughs> when I tell you I hate the internet, I hate the internet. I was squealing when I read that but it's true like gender roles are so stupid and I I feel like I feel like to some extent we're shying away from gender roles because it truly doesn't make any sense like who was a person who said boys wear blue girls wear pink girls wear dresses girls like long nails girls like long hair who was a person who said that 
And also, who was a person who put sexuality on, on hobbies? You know? And I feel like that's why I, I feel like as a regular, I shouldn't use the word regular. I feel like a human being who isn't persuaded one way or another, I feel like we are all just human or are, I feel like we're all just fluid. You know, I don't, without society pushing gender roles or sexuality one way or another, I feel like inherently we're all just fluid. There's no specific like gender or race or sexuality of people who only like specific things. You know what I mean? So it's definitely society who's pushing these these stigmas and these what are those things called and stereotypes and I think that's why a lot of people become confused with with just anything I'm trying to word this in a way all right so maybe you guys can help me with my with my wording so when a young boy tells his parents, I want to paint my fingernails, and their parent says, no, that's for girls. And then the kid goes, oh, well, then I must be a girl because I want my nails painted. And I feel like telling kids that confuses them. And then they start thinking, well, how is it that I'm a girl because I want my nails painted or vice versa? But let's be real. It it rarely happens the other way. Like, it's very rare that, a you know, like a, a parent will tell their little girl, oh, no, you can't play with monster trucks because those are for boys, you know? And I think... I feel like we're heading in the right direction, but of course we have a lot of bigotry and we have people who continue those, those social norms such as gender roles. And so, so while I think, yes, we are like getting closer to fluidity, which would be amazing. Um, I still think we have a lot, a lot of work to do. But yeah, I'm just tired of people saying like, Oh, is that Nia? I'm just tired of people saying things like, oh, my man can't do this, that, or the other because it's gay or whatever. And we could talk about biphobia and homophobia and how a lot of women refuse to date bisexual men, which is weird to me. Um, but that's a whole different conversation for another day. We can have the conversation if you guys want to, but that's a different conversation for a different day. And I'd be lying if I didn't say that I used to have that mindset, but that was because I, I didn't think for myself and it was a lot of, oh, like, yeah, that's, you know, if a man does this with a woman, that's gay. Like, it makes no sense. Like, people want everything to be gay except for men hooking up with other men or women hooking up with other women. People want everything to be gay so bad as if it's a bad thing. Like, I'm pretty sure this isn't 1999 anymore. I'm pretty sure using gay as a, as a slur or as to diminish, like the thoughts of of people or whatever I, I thought we left that in the early 2000s but it's 2021 and we're still having this conversation like people still think it's gay for a man to wipe his booty hole like so it's it's gay to be clean it's gay to have a skincare routine make it make sense Oh, only, only women should have soft skin. Says who? What makes you think I want to rub my face on a rough face? What makes you think that? Because the logic is not logicking. 
So anyway, that's my little rant for today. It wasn't much of anything. I don't feel like I said anything that hasn't already been said, but abolish gender roles. Pretty sure that's what I'm, that's my conclusion is just to abolish gender roles. So if you guys didn't, mm -hmm. if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.